What's going on football fans? I'm gonna show you how to make a football field rug, which is perfect for the living room, for any Super Bowl party, man cave, or if you wanna throw a fantasy football draft. Here are the supplies needed. Artificial grass. You can find this at a store like Home Depot or Lowe's. It's gonna cost about 20 bucks depending on what size you need. Keep in mind they do cut a custom size and make sure it's gonna fit for the room you're gonna put it in, whether it be indoors or outdoors. You're gonna need masking tape, some scissors if you're gonna need to cut the rug after the store cuts it for you, some measuring tape, white paint. I would recommend getting the absolute cheapest white paint possible. Don't get any that's too shiny. That's just not the look we're going for. And if this rug is going to go outside and if you want some protection against weather, get some more expensive exterior paint. You're also going to need some number stencils and of course a paint brush. The first thing you're going to do once you have all your supplies is lay your artificial grass flat on the ground. In this case, I have more of a hallway rug or a runway runner, sort of like a red carpet event. Mine is only 40 inches wide and 200 inches long, but you can really do this any size you want. You can even do a square if need be. I would recommend laying down all the masking tape and putting it in place before you do any painting. You can start from the 50 yard line and in this case since my rug is a length of 200 inches, I'm going to mark one line every 20 inches. Keep in mind you're going to mark nine lines if you're doing all the yard lines correctly from 10 all the way to 50 and then back to 10 again. You can start from the 50 yard line which will be exactly in the middle. Also try to make sure each line you paint has the same width. You can do a width of maybe one inches. You can do a width of maybe one and a half inches. Just try to keep the width about the same. That way your rug looks uniform and nice and neat. Once you lay down all the masking tape to mark all nine lines, you're gonna want to start to paint. Now you can dip the brush straight into the paint bucket if if you're a straight savage or if you have OCD like me, I prefer getting a paint tray and covering it with a trash bag for easy cleanup and this way you can also reuse the paint tray. That's just the extra bonus tip. After you're done painting all the lines, use the masking tape to hold your number stencils in place and go ahead and paint the numbers accordingly. This DIY project is fairly cheap. It's fairly easy to do. Just make sure you double check everything because if you mess up, your project is pretty much done. You got to start from scratch and you don't want to do that. You can even take it a step further, make some customizations. If you have some art skills, unlike me, you can paint a custom emblem right at the 50 yard line. Or like I did, you can make a custom touchdown. You can make a touchdown at both ends, really anything you want. And this really can fit anywhere, guys, whether it be the living room, the hallway, or in this case, I use it as a runway for people coming to my fantasy football draft. You can also check out that video. It's pretty awesome. And that's the final product. If you only want to use this, let's say once a year for a Super Bowl party, you can roll up the rug, put it away, and then take it back out next year. If this video was helpful, make sure you give a thumbs up, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and check out my other videos like the best fantasy football draft party ever. We film it every year. All right, guys, take care. Enjoy the Super Bowl. Enjoy the NFL draft. Enjoy fantasy football. Enjoy your man cave, whatever it may be. Have a great day.